Ja? ja. What? What? <laughs> this is awesome. Oh my god. This is amazing. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in Quern, and we are in the Lower Mechanics. Now, last time we saw that this, this piece that fell away when we when we sort of aligned the rings properly, uh, is down here, and that's the projector room. That's, that's what ascended into the mechanic space, okay? Uh, and then there's a bunch of machinery here that we haven't checked out. Let's quickly run around, because I vaguely recall, yeah, we saw this thing last time, which... Well, it's a safe, okay. I'm assuming we're going to get a combination at some point. What's up here? A blocked-off doorway. That's nice. What's up here? Um, a not blocked-off doorway. Okay. Uh, let's quickly take a look over here, then. The first of the two machine stations. All right, so these are the rings, right? This is an aligning mechanism, but I don't know. It's not the same one as before. There is... Um, Slide, a button, more buttons. None of the, this stuff is just information, okay? This is also information. I'm not seeing anything interactable. Button, I can move those. Is that? No. ABC, 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 and then a white and an orange. Okay, so we're not going to touch that for now. Let's see what else we got. Cool. All right, we got some prism uh, refraction, uh, prism refraction, there we go, uh, interesting, and a letter. All right, before we read the letter, let's see what's up here. A locked door, okay, but also another mechanism that maybe we'll be able to access later on. Okay, so let's read the letter first, and then we'll, hopefully that'll give us an idea of what's going on in, in the mechanics in, in that puzzle area over there. These are the lower levels of the mechanics. It was here I learned that all the attributes of the different minerals could be harnessed by dividing the energy beam of the white crystal. The shortage of crystalline materials no longer hindered my work. With this knowledge, I was even able to isolate green crystal beams, the exact same energy ray that the ancient gateways use. This could suggest that there is a connection between this world and the origin of the ancient gateways. Focusing on my work helped me deal with the unbearable loneliness that started to consume my mind. Okie dokie. Uh, and this is Truth Conquers All. Okay. Well, that's interesting that you can split them off, but the, here's, the, here's the thing I'm not getting. If you can, why isn't the red area like smoking? Because in theory, right, it should be eating the rock. But okay, that's neither here nor there. Uh, the more important thing is we did not get any hints about how this works. Okay, well this is, I mean, we know what this is for at least. Let's find out what this is for. Um, I get the feeling that this relates to that for whatever reason. Uh, Can we not, can I not go lower? Okay, so it's only these two. It gets to come, select between these two colors, and then this, this goes to the letters. Okay, well, well, all right, fine. White, C. Oh. Um, where's, that's where C is. Okay. Okay, well, what happens, can we, what if we put it to A? Right, still white. We put it on A. We're gonna yes. Okay, so this is just a way of moving. This is what what sort of like happens behind the scenes in the mechanics, whether it's automated or not. In that, although if it's not automated, and I'm not seeing an automated process, that means somebody was down here manipulating this thing when we solved the puzzle up there. That would be weird. <laughs> But no, so this is a way of, so I guess if we move this here and then put it to C, we'd be able to move this piece out. But I don't want to do that right now. I want to solve, or at least try and start figuring out what the heck this is. Okay. We know this is a, yeah, okay. Um, reset button, start, and then these buttons. Okay. 
Uh, start? No. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, those the first and the third, second and the fourth. All right, so this selects which sir, which rings rotate, but what does? What if, ah, okay. Okay. Whatever. Let's just let's just pick some numbers. All right, and then start. Okay, then it rotates. Uh, oh, hold on. Let's just reset this real quick. So the 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 common the common ring between these two looks like to be this the third one. Okay, so let's start. Okay, and it rotates by one. Okay, so zero plus one. So this is what's happening. Uh, when you select one of these spaces and put a number in there, that's how many intervals it'll turn. So, for example, this this space and this space control the third ring collectively. Each one controls two rings, so there's not we can't use the same approach, kind of, that we used upstairs. In that there's no free turning ring, there's no free free move. We have to balance the effects of each of these numbers on two different rings. So, as I was saying. These two share the third ring. So we put a zero and a one here. That means that the, the shared ring, the third ring, will only move the combination of these two, which is it'll only move one. It'll move right here. Okay? Uh, and it looks like, let's just see, what if we put a negative number in there? Yeah. So positive goes clockwise, negative goes counterclockwise. Okay? Let's reset. Let's really quickly, I'm pretty sure I know the orientation here, but. Yeah, see, this is the gap in the in the rings. You can kind of see the jagged edge, and that's the outer ring gap. So, which way is it pointed? Okay, pointed in the exact direction this way. So, this must be one, and then the blocked off exit is two. Okay. So, <laughs> with that in mind, how do we pick numbers to go? Can we? No, this, we can't like unclick it. We actually just have to replace numbers. I see. Okay. Um, how do we pick numbers that let us get the solution? Um, let's do this. Let's do the first thing. I have an idea, but let's do this first. We'll go A, B, C, D. And we'll just map which rings they control. Okay, so A controls the third and the fourth ring. Okay. B controls, I'm just writing this down, one and three. D, uh, C controls two and four. And then D controls one and two. Okay. Fine. So here's, here's what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm thinking we make a little set of equations um, each time so we'll set this as four and yeah, that's the position this is position four or number four whatever it doesn't matter right so that for example a and B right when we go to the third ring the third ring already has two on it right because one two we need two more intervals from it so this so the sum of a and B has to be two right so one two Okay, and we'll do that for each ring, and we'll sort of see where we stand with that. Okay, and hopefully that'll present us with a, a little bit more of an understanding of what the heck is going on. Okay, so let's just look at the, the rings one by one. The first ring, okay, the outer ring, uh, is controlled by B and D, right? B, D, uh, and it already has one on it. So uh, it's one plus B plus D is four. That means that B plus D must be three. Okay, fine. What about the second ring? The second ring has three on it already, right? One, two, three. It's connect. It's controlled by C and D. Okay, and that means that C plus D has to equal one. Okay, fine. A plus B we already know. Uh, for the third ring is two because it's already at uh, two right there. And then the fourth ring is controlled by A. And C, and it has, it's already in position, but the problem is we don't have two zeros, and we could do something like minus one and one, or is that, but so, so, 
So here's the idea. We're going to go 0 plus A plus C, because it's already at 4, so well, it's at 0, let's say. Uh, 0 plus A plus C is equal to 4. Remember, this is kind of a modular system, so 4 equals 0 in theory. Um, and the negatives sort of throw things off a little bit, because, you know, you can always, for example, you know, we said that B plus D... Um, I mean, or we said that a plus b well b plus d should be three right because one two three around it could just as well be minus one so that it just moves one and in, uh, one in the, into position like that okay but nonetheless what we now have is b plus d is three c plus d is one a plus b is two a plus c is four or zero but let's look at four for example because four is actually a number we can work with i think because check it out a plus C have to be 4. There is only one way to get them to be 4, and that is to set both of these as 2. Okay? It's the beginning of a, it's the beginning of the way we work this solution. Uh, I was going to say that this may be like a, you solve it like a system of linear equations, but the problem is I don't think that the matrix you're going to set up is going to be something you can take the inverse of, and I have not done linear algebra in ages. So I am completely failing you guys, and I apologize for that. All right? But... 2 and 2, we, we know that because a plus c has to be 4, okay? Because then this inner circle will stay where it is, okay? We could just as easily have put minus 2 here, by the way. Just, uh, you know, FYI. But 2 plus 2 is 4, uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, that's what we need. Okay, so now let's work from the premise of what is a plus b? a plus b is 2. Well, if, if, we, if we take the assumption that this is 2 already, then b has to be 0. Okay, so let's just go ahead and swap this for a zero. Fine. What about C plus D? There's at least these two, right? C plus D, C plus, C plus D has to be one. Okay, and that is right there. Okay, now check this out. This is where the negatives come into effect. B plus D, we worked out, should be three, okay? because the inner circle has to move 1, 2, 3. But remember that 3 can also be minus 1 because it could just move 1 back. And what do we have? 0 and minus 1, it'll just move 1 back into position. So if we've done this right, we should open that door, okay? So here we go, start. Bam, okay? Let's go check out what's in the room. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so to be fair, we've known what's in this room already. I mean, and we can't, I don't think we can manipulate this. We've been in this room before, but. Uh, oh, you know what that is? I know what that is. Remember, we saw there's that little angle bracket inside right there. This is where the key goes. Nice. Um, I think that light turned on. <laughs> I think that's what happened. Okay. Can we press the button again? No. So we need to get to that end, or that side. Fine. Uh, well, not fine, actually, because this door is closed. Wait. So there's... Um... I got an idea. Got an idea. Maybe nutsy. Okay, check this out. Um, let's move this orange piece into position back there, right? To C. Let's move. It's okay. Let's move the lower mechanics to C. And let's see what happens. Maybe it opens that door. And if not, I saw something interesting. No, no, but. Is that? No, that's just mechanics underneath. Um, but I think there's a platform right on the door, on the on the side of the door that we need. Okay. There. No, I can't see it. But there was something up on the rafters. I feel like. Let's. Yeah. See, it's right there. There's like a glowing light. Right there. Um. What happens then? What happens if we bring down? to to be the 
stuff that's in the mechanics right now, isn't it? Remember, there's like a staircase in there, right? So could we maybe reach the roof and reach whatever the heck that is? Okay. I mean, there's nothing here, right? We didn't miss anything? No. Just, I do like the fact that it's that we're reusing the same spaces. That's very cool to me. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, there it is. Ah, there we go. <laughs> is this the... Oh. Um, okay, then. Alright, so let's... We open the door. Let's see if we can get to the... God. If we can get to the other side. Or what happens if we do get to the other side. Um, go up here. We go up here. Oh. What? Okay. Fine. Okay, so they're just tumblers. Tumblers? I don't know, but they're... they're okay, so in order to get the last puzzle piece, the navigation piece, we need to put these pieces there. Okay, fine. Um, and this works, so let's do this. Let's bring the... the... the projector room back up to A. Okay, let's bring that back up, and then we will bring the mechanics room back here because we need to rotate it to open up the doors. Okay? And then we'll we'll bring it back up to C in order to get to the other side, right? Because we know that there's a platform on the other side now. Okay? Alright, so here we are, reset. And I wish we didn't have to do that, but okay, fine. Okay, so let's repeat this process, but let's do it um by setting this as position four, okay? So now, we are at position three on this, so three plus B plus D equals four. This is on position one. One plus C plus D equals four. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the third ring is at position zero, so zero plus A plus B equals four. Okay, and then the fourth ring is at position 2, so 2 plus A plus C equals 4. And what does that come out to? Well, that means B plus D is 1, that means C plus D is 3, that means A plus B is 4, that means A plus C is 2. Okay, now, let's just repeat what we did before. And A plus B meaning, you know, these two. But let's repeat what we did before. Let's go ahead and set these to be four. The only way we can do it to make it, uh, set it to make it to be four, right? Again, we could do this, where it's one and minus one and be zero, but the previous time bore fruit, so let's go with two and two, all right? What does that mean for us in terms of, say, any other combination, okay? Um, B plus D. Right, B plus D we know has to move this one. So in theory, no, there is no in theory. There's only one way to do this. I was gonna say in theory we can make it negative, but we couldn't make it uh, negative enough because we need to make it negative three, which means changing this number. That doesn't make any sense, right? One, two, three back here. So instead we gotta turn it by one and we got a minus one in there. So two plus minus one is two minus one is one. That's exactly what we need, okay? Now let's look at C plus D. Well, it turns out that C plus D is 3. Okay, because C plus D moves the second one, and it's got to move, you know, 1, 2, 3. Or, and here's the catch, we can again move it back by 1. What that means is C and D, right? Right now it's 0, but if we put a 0 here... That's going to move it by minus one. It's going to just going to snap it into place by moving it back one. Okay? Let's just double check what we have for the next one. A and C should be two. That's two. That works. Let's go ahead and press start. Bam. Okay? So now they're aligned. Now we get to move the mechanics room up to C. Now we get to go upstairs. Very cool. 
Um. Oh, is that another one? Um. No. No? No. Well, uh, no. You know what might you know what we might ooh, you know what we might have to do? Yeah. We might have to move that piece here, because it's more open, so maybe there'll be more open space to grab whatever the heck that thing is holding, which I'm assuming is another piece of this. Uh, and speaking of, okay, there we go. There's another piece of this. Is there anything? No, this is just grates. Okay, let's um let's da, 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 let's go down here. Let's move the mecha the rotating piece back into place. Okay, and in the meantime, let's just set this up to put the, the staircase, the staircase, the thing that's in the mechanics now, into C. Okay, and while it's coming down, let's run upstairs. Hopefully, we'll be able to pick up that thing. Yeah, see, it's far more open. Okay, so now we put out the hand. Yeah, and it's holding the... Yeah, 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 okay, fine, whatever. It's holding this thing. No, but seriously. <laughs> um, okay. So, can we... Cannot rotate anything? No, I can only do this. Are you kidding? Like, do we really have to play the slots now? Okay, this really isn't a... thought there might be a little bit more... Alright, I'm feeling lucky, come on. Really, is there nothing? I mean, is there not anything else to this puzzle? No, there isn't anything else to this puzzle. I really just have to keep. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah! Time to crack the safe! Oh! Okay. Uh, time to crack the safe. 46, 11, 37, 77. Okay. Can I do anything else? No? Okay, fine. I wanted, to put it, I wanted to keep going. Nice. Okay, so I have that piece. Um, it said crack the safe, and that's fine. Do I... Can I go back here? I don't think I should, though, right? Because I'm going to strand my crystal. That's a weird thing to say. Down here. Out of curiosity, is this thing gonna stop me? Yeah. Okay, I can't go back up there. All right, let's go to the. Let's go. Let's go to the. Um, let's go to the safe and see what we can find over there. Uh, give me the crystal. Fine. Jeez. Uh, the safe is over here. That was cool. I like that rotating puzzle. That was fun. Um, got me to use a little mathematics. That's nice. Uh, 46, 11, 37, 77. That's the combination. In retrospect, maybe I should have sketched it, but you know what? I wrote it down, which is fine enough for me. 46. That's at least... I don't know if it requires any sort of direction, but let's just follow this. 11. 37. 77. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. Is this... I'm gonna bet dollars to donuts that this is gonna bring us back to where we started. Remember, because because we were looking at the fact that there was a button to call the elevator back up from the underground square. Yeah, here it is. We're back at the tower. Oh! <laughs> Remember when I said this looked like a door? That's the door. Okay. Alright, we're back. Go back down here. Let's go back to the square. And let's summon the elevator with that button that we saw before. There we go. Alright, so now we have our last... Where is it? Last piece with the rosettes. Um, curiosity I have is, we've opened both sides. What is what is it going to do now? Unless it's going to... No, I don't know. I <laughs> uh, we've opened both left and right tunnels, so... We'll see. Still, I'm amazed. So let's keep watching, looking this way. Watch, it's going to take control of my view and rotate me all the way around. No? All right, never mind. I'm a, I'm a big fat liar. Big, 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 big liar. Okay. 
Not this time. All right, so we have our piece with the rosettes. Um, rosettes. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah? What? What? <laughs> this is awesome! Oh my god. This is amazing. Right? Can we... So that's what we... So it's bringing us closer to all that stuff we saw downstairs. Or downstairs. At the bottom, right? Can I... No. Oh! So cool. So cool. Okay. The reservoir cave. Cool. Alright. Um... Okay. All right, we're not going. Okie dokie. Uh, what else we got here? All right, no idea. Let's leave that alone for now. This, on the other hand, we can sketch. Um, uh, another level, another cipher. Unclear what purpose. At present. Famous last words, but that's my invocation for an explanation. So for like a letter or something. Um, oh, but you know what? Where there's chalk, maybe? No. no, it was a cute idea, but no. Put that away. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Um... I see. All right. Well, let's. I'm not gonna sketch it. I am. I am gonna, however, make some notes on my notebook here. One dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, five dots. Let's just write the quick description of it. Uh, binary crystal. single fat crystal. Three dots is single skinny crystal. Four dots is triple crystal. And five dots is crystal bundle. Lack of a better term. Okay. All right. Um, is that? Yeah. So, okay. So we got to set whatever these are for the specific crystals, I guess. And it can't be the numbers, because there are two with a single... Like, it can't be like, oh, you know, this is a binary crystal, so it's two. No. And that's because there are crystals... Two dots and three dots are both for single crystal whatevers. All right, so we, we have another thing here. I see. Oh my god. You know what this is. Come here. So this is the first one, right? This is the binary crystal. This is single dot. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it's a tone puzzle. Boom. Boom, boom, instead of womp, womp. So one is four. That's uh, that's the way we're gonna do this. <laughs> okay, put that at four. Uh, let's go to what's our single fat? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There you go, right? Wah, 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 
one, it's eight. So the second one is eight. Okay, now let's go to... No, wait, I'm I'm an idiot. Hold on, that's a triple crystal. Right, the, it's, that's four dots. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, like, getting careless here. Uh, let's move this here. Right. Okay, that feels like a two. Put this at a two. What I don't like is I can move this around like this. It doesn't really snap to the number, but that's fine. I'll live with I'll live with my disappointment. Okay, let's move this over here. Let's move this over here. Let's move the crystal bundle. Here we go. That sounds like a one, right? That sounds like a triple, triple tone. Yeah, okay. And now let's listen to the last one. Oops. Seven. That sounds like a seven to me. Wait. God, I gotta stop doing that. Right? Right? That's the... Crystal bundle is the last one, so the crystal bundle is the one that we set as the triple, which is one. God, I am. I apologize through and through. And then seven is this. Okay. This is a tall, skinny one. Okay, here we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. Never try and stump me on them tone puzzles. Uh... Right? Thank you. Don't like that. Not a fan of that. Am I gonna die? Uh, well, I definitely don't like that. Holy schmoligans. Um... What I'm gonna do. I'm at least gonna go take a look at what else there is over here. Probably nothing. Okay, there is nothing. Hmm. And there's no real direction here other than through. Well, look, we'll reach that door and we'll call it there. If I die, we'll call it there. But <laughs> hopefully I'm not gonna die. Right? Is there nothing? No. Oh, there's another door. God. That's, that's not a good sign. That's not a good door. It's not a happy door. Yet. And yet there's only one door. Okay, well. Look, if I die. Yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa. The library? Okay, that was not what I was expecting with the whole skull and crossbones thing, but... Sure. Ooh. Okay, so... We got a holder. Welcome to the garden by... Lake Kubilius. Uh, the musings of an evolved... Of an evolved simian, Jose Cardozo. Interesting. Did we get the type stuff? Not typing anything until I know what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> Black Snake. Wanduskasapa. Okay. Very cool. Very, very, very cool. And a letter. Of course it is. Lena Page Parsons, never too late. I'm assuming this is where he wrote, Although I was not able to fix the ancient gateway, I managed to... Interesting. But this is clearly where he's writing all these little missives to me. We got buttons. Is there a doorway here? Oh, there's a puzzle doorway here. Okay. All right. So. Very cool. We made it to the library. Whatever that is. And uh, we'll continue on from here next time. 
very cool episode. Um, you know, yesterday, last time was was lore heavy. Today, very puzzle heavy. We had mathematics, we had tone puzzles, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend. Let's me know that I'm doing something right. Let's me know that you guys want to see more of this stuff. If uh, you think I overlooked something, if you have a different way of solving the mathematical puzzle with the rotating rings, please let me know. I am curious whether I overlooked the way of doing this uh, that is easier. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's linear equation, if it's a system of linear equations, but if it is, let me know, or let me know if you guys have alternative strategies for it. Uh, everything's welcome, and in any case, I'll see you all next time. Brother, 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 brother,